What's up everybody, it's Titan Fee Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're taking a look at a sneaker that's set to come out on February the 17th, which happens to be Michael Jordan's birthday. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, leave a comment in the comment section, let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker we're about to look at. Do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to look at a sneaker that is set to release on February the 17th. There's a lot of hype behind the sneakers. You have people on YouTube making videos about shot drop and all that good stuff. But the shock is there is no shot drop that has taken place at the time of me recording this video now pairs of these have been on the streets for weeks and you know i happened to get my hand on a pair early and for retail so we're going to take a look at this sneaker you see the box you probably know what i'm talking about you got the red jordan jump man on top of the box with flight written in white and it's the inverse of the box that we got from this sneakers originator uh, here you go with that box tag right there you can read it black bottom and the uh, speckled top just the inverse of what we got the last time in 2019 when this sneaker released to us or retro I should say and the box label reads Air Jaw Full Retro, and the color is black, fire red, cement gray. This is a size 11, and these are retailing for, these will be retailing for $215. 215 oh man. Take the top off, you know, this how it looks, no live stamps inside of this red top. Sit that aside, you see that paper. Splatter, smooth, rough. You also get that single sheet. They've been giving us that extra sheet with the sneakers. Not sure why or when it began. I haven't really been paying attention to that, but I've noticed that you do see that green and white YCM sticker right there in the bottom of the box. That's pretty much everything we get in the box with this sneaker. So, uh, I'm not going to hold y'all any longer. Let's get into the shoe. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jaw Retro 4 Bread Reimagined. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker instead of the new buck like we received in 2019. We got an all leather sneaker this time. So this sneaker is made on an all leather base and the leather is pretty good in my opinion. Pretty good, nice, soft. Tumble leather is pebbled up in some places. You do have your black netting with the black background. You got your cement gray waffle hits right there. And you do get the hang tag. It's about the only extra we did receive this sneaker. You get a black Nike Air hang tag instead of the orange one like we received on the retro pair in 2019. You do have a polyurethane midsole. You have cement gray on here. You have a black hit right there and a fire red there. You do have white going around your uh, visible air sole unit. You got a clear bubble. You got the white inside. And we're gonna take a look at the outsole. You do have your, your fire red at the toe and the heel. You have your Nike air emblem right there in fire red as well you do have the stars at the toe always gotta have stars baby the stars at night are big and bright uh you do have that cement gray hit right here and you have white right here with the uh herringbone traction and a hit of white right there getting to the back of the sneaker you do have nike air on these again you do have nike air on these the flap is not as stiff as it used to be, but we got that Nike Air in that cement gray. As we go to the media side of the sneaker, you do have your wing extenders with the uh, 
C-Man Gray Waffle hits right there. You got more of that all over black leather on the upper of the sneaker. You do have that black netting system here with the black background. You do have that polyutherane midsole again. You got your black, your uh, C-Man Gray, your red, and you got your white going around that visible air sole unit with the clear bubble, and you do have a white inside. And let's get to the inside of the sneaker. Let's see what they got in here. We do have paper stuffing again. So I'm thinking the cardboard shoe trees, that's over with. That phase is over with. Unless they revisit that and bring it back. You do have your insert, fire red insert, black Nike Air, and you do have that size of sticker, size 11. And it's white on the back side of that insert. Give you guys a closer look. Let's put that up here. This is a closer look at the toe box. This is nice and soft. I tell you what, guys, this sneaker is not a must have, a must cop for me. But if I can get these for retail, I will. If not, on to the next. You got your netting going all the way up to right here on the uh, tongue. Black background. You do have a set of black flat laces that these do come in. You do have the leather tongue. The upper portion of the tongue is leather. And you have that black woven patch on it with the red Jordan Jumpman. And it says flight in white. And the material on the back of the tongue is not visible from the front. I have to turn it around for you guys to see. And you do have that woven patch that says Air John upside down. The word is that it's upside down so when Mike could uh, dunk on you, the opponent can read his name. They'll know his name. After watching the last dance, a lot of this stuff starting to make sense, man. I'm starting to think, man, Michael John was competitive, but he was petty give you guys a look at that size and tag as best as I can. You do have that C-Man Gray fabric on the uh, going around your sock liner. And let's read the uh, size and tag. Size 11, production date June the 14th to August the 30th of 2023. So about two and a half months of production with these. So, uh, I'm not sure if they're going to shock drop or not, to be honest. I'm not uh, waiting on the shock drop. I'll just try when release day come. They're going to be in places. I just feel and believe you can get your pair for retail if you just put in that leg work. You just got to be willing to go into your raffles, DSG, even Foot Lock and all those great guys. And of course, Hibbit Sports. They all gonna have these sneakers. They're already in store. So stay tuned to the apps and you know you can get these for retail. Just put in that legwork. So let me know what it is for y'all. I already told you about me, but I'm gonna go ahead in this video. If you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know. Well, it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.